A big feature here is uh, all the different exhibits that you have at COP15, which gives countries and regions a chance to showcase what they're doing in their biodiversity in their countries. One of the biggest is the China Pavilion. You can see the slogan here, building a shared future for all life on Earth, not just mankind, but also nature as well. And if you come inside, and this is one of the really big ones, it's also right near the media center. So China's presence, even though Let's face it, it's not being hosted in Kunming, but, but, but uh, in Canada, is very much here. Look, you can see, for example, Yunnan here, uh, one of the southern provinces of China. All the different natural aspects from natural remedies to the diversity of wildlife, plants, etc. And then there's this area here in the China Pavilion where people can watch videos. We're about to have one on uh, Hainan Island and the rainforest there. So it's the uh, island off the southern tip of China in the South China Sea. They call it the Hawaii of the South China Sea. It's a great place to visit. And all across the China Pavilion, you can see different parts of China, different provinces showcasing what they're doing from uh, essentially preserving habitats, species, plants, and of course, what they are pushing for here at the conference. And everyone gets this handy book as well. Let me show you this. This is Biodiversity, uh, Biodiversity Conservation in China. And essentially, shows exactly what they're doing, what uh, the leadership in China is spelling out uh, going forward. And as you know, the COP15 president here is Chinese as well, and he's really optimistic going into these final days of negotiations. Let's have a listen. Why are you so confident, considering... Looking at our current progress, it is very encouraging. We are making very good progress right now and we have high-level meetings to promote the next step. And of course, let's face it, this is one of the first post-COVID uh, conferences that we've seen from the UN after the climate conference, COP26. We've got COP15 here, so it's also a chance to showcase China. Let's face it, tourism is down. Uh, there's a lot that China can offer when it comes to its natural wonders and what it's doing in terms of climate change, biodiversity, etc. So it's almost a sort of uh, a tourist advert as well. I can tell you, judging by the crowds around this pavilion, around others, it's definitely a presence that's going to be felt right up into the end of these negotiations here. Lady King, CGTN, at the COP15 conference in Montreal. Development.